So this is the MF150. I got this phone a few days ago off AliExpress. And well, it's built to be rugged. It's built to be dropped and it's built to stand the test of time. Now the question in this video I wanna answer is, how durable is this phone? Well, let's put it to the test. Now I first wanna talk about the phone itself. Now the phone itself is the MF150. It's a Chinese phone breaker and as you can see, this is the actual phone. This is not a case. This is the actual phone. It has a nice hard plastic back with this metal side on, on the uh, sides here. And you can also see on the corners, you've got these re like rugged bulges that can protect the phone from drops or anything like that. Now, let's talk about the display. So on the front, we have a 6.5 inch Full HD plus LCD display. As you see, it does have a hole punch on it. And the display is okay. Um, it's not the best display. As you can see, there are some fairly thick bezels on this model. But again, for the price you're paying for this phone, which is about 270 US dollars, it really isn't that bad of a display at all. You do not have any type of notches or anything like that. So all in all, it's a very solid 1080p display. You also get these lights on the back that will glow up for any notifications or calls you might get, which I think is a really cool idea. Just say you have your phone face down on the table uh, and you get a phone call, these will light up and I think that's a really cool idea. For biometrics, you do get facial recognition and a side mounted fingerprint scanner on the power button, which is really good. You do get a USB-C charger port that is actually covered over um, to keep water out. We also have this bright flash right here at the top, which could be used as a torch. If you go into the phone's tool bag and activate torch, you'll get this very bright light, which would be very helpful for looking in the dark or wherever this phone might be, construction site or wherever. I think that's a very useful feature of this phone. And let's speak software for a minute. This phone has stock Android 12 on it. So there was no bloatware when I started this phone up for the first time. Um, just simple Google apps, no games, no bloatware, no carrier bloatware, nothing. It was just stock Android. And that's really what you want in a phone like this. I also want to take a quick look at what's in the box here. Uh, this is the box for the MF150. You can see it is a big box. So in the box here, you do get the phone right here, but you also get a screen protector in the box you do get the plastic wipes to wipe down the screen to put the screen protector on fast charging charging brick right here and your usb-c braided usb-c charging cable all right so the mf150 here are my final thoughts on this phone so in my opinion i think this is a great little phone cheap affordable phone um, if you want something that's going to be pretty durable um, to drops and water resistant so you can go swimming with this phone, you can go rock climbing, whatever you do. This is kind of like, think of this as the like Apple Watch Ultra of the watch world. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of what this is. But this is like the Apple Watch Ultra of like the Android phone world, if you, if you know what I'm saying. Before I wrap this video up, though, I do want to give a special thanks to AliExpress. Um, they're the way that I got this phone. I actually got this phone off of AliExpress. So I'll have a link in the uh, comment section uh, and in the description so that you can go check this phone out for yourself and whatever other things that might interest you on AliExpress. And with that being said, uh, thanks for watching this quick review and uh, peace out.